Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can either be your situation or your partner's situation. It just kind of depends on uh, the energy. So just want to throw that out there. Also too, please feel free to uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, please feel free to comment. I love reading your guys' comments and, you know, me being a Gemini, it's like, with that being said, Gemini, let's go ahead and hop right into your reading. Who's Gemini's person of interest or who is Gemini dealing with right now? Woo! Okay, two of swords reverse just popped up. Somebody can either be a Libra or have a Libra moon. And maybe it's two people because there's two swords here. Who knows, Gemini? Um, how does Gemini feel about them romantically? Okay, Eight of Wands, that's also Sag energy. <clears throat> what is the current situation or issue with Gemini and this person romantically? Woo. Three of Cups. Okay, there may be more than one person or somebody needs to express themselves. Um, <clears throat> maybe somebody needs to express themselves and, and, and say how they feel. All right. Uh, what is an external influence here for Gemini and their person of interest? Woo, death, obviously, something needs to end, or it is a Scorpio that's over here like, hey, how's it, what's popping, what's going on over here, ready to take that ass, I don't know, um, and what is the best potential outcome here for love and romance for Gemini and their person of interest? Six of Pentacles, holy shit, Gemini, that's hella zen, right? That's definitely Taurus energy, which is, you know, very different than our energy that's all over the place. I feel like, you know, over these last week or so, or longer, you've really had to figure out exactly what you want to do. Like, I feel like you have two different options, and there is something that's different, and I feel like you're going back and forth on something that you're not sharing with other people, which is probably surprising to most. However, it's like you, you're, you're trying to focus on what you want, and you may be doing that through work. Or you may feel like you're drained and like you just want to just be by yourself for a period of time. Like, I do think that a level of clarity is needed. I also think for whatever reason, there is something unpredictable and something that's changing with inside you, which is pretty beautiful. And it can be with this situation or with this person. So why is the Two of Swords reversed? Because of the Eight of Cups. Okay, so let's hop over here. Obviously... You know, this person possibly, okay, uh, can be somebody that is very calculated. This can be somebody where maybe communication wasn't necessarily at the forefront. Now there's something that's an open communication here because the two goes to the one. This also can be somebody who's very strategical. This is somebody who's very logical and has to really think about everything prior to processing it. You guys can also be dealing with a uh, Pisces because we do have the Eight of Cups here. So, you know, for whatever reason, you or this person, you had to walk away from them or something is being left behind in order to really settle down and have a level of clarity. Why, what's being walked, what's walking away? Let me ask one more time. Why, why? Okay. Why are you walking away? Or why is this person walking away? Or maybe this is you walking away from this, from the uncertainty because of the four of pentacles and two of pentacles. That's big ass Capricorn energy. Four of pentacles is Capricorn. Two of pentacles uh, is also Capricorn. I think this is like Capricorn, uh, Jupiter. Maybe for some reason, I feel like there's more than one person here. And I don't want to say that because I always say that in Gemini's, but I mean, we're two people. So that would make sense, right? I feel like one person you're walking away from because there just wasn't enough being offered. And it possibly is a Pisces. Okay, I am saying, seeing that. And you may be walking more so towards the air sign. Or somebody that has heavy air in their chart because for whatever reason this this was just it, it created a level of conflict and you were it just kept confusing you like i feel like this person kept going back and forth with what they wanted and it was just too much 
And at the end of the day, like, I don't think that this person was necessarily expressing to you exactly how they felt. Like they were keeping a lot of that inside and that really upset you for whatever reason. More information on Gemini's current person of interest. Romantically. The High Priestess, possibly a Cancer or a Taurus. But also, too, I mean, this could be somebody that was being hidden, right? This is somebody that you were talking to, but maybe nobody knew about. Who, who, does, who does Gemini, what's, or maybe this person is hiding something. What's being hidden? Justice. Okay, Libra. This person cannot be expressing to you how they feel about you. This person cannot maybe be overly, you know, confident in expressing exactly, you know, what their goals are moving forward with you. Especially with justice here, like, that's what I'm saying. So justice is a pretty solid energy, right? But then you have this wonky ass energy over here, which is the two of pentacles. They're both choices to make, right? Except one is very balanced. And one is coming in strongly, while this one is 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 in the middle of a walk in the middle of the water, and it's constantly juggling. It's like not knowing which direction, you know, he or she is going to go, and at any time, you know, they can fall off. Right? It's also too like once this person, if this person does fall, and maybe you know because this person and their inability to open up or whatever. It's creating a level of anxiety emotionally for you, which is why I feel like this person that's coming in as justice, um, maybe there's somebody, you know, who is a lawyer, a judge, a teacher. It's somebody that's very well balanced, somebody that's possibly, you know, making the right decision with the wings, possibly a pilot. Um somebody that has the ability to distinguish right from wrong but this person i feel like is way more balanced am i right yeah i am there's forward movement from that unreliable energy to this justice right there's a level of clarity here that has changed how you view on this you and this person have had a level of open communication on where you want to move forward where where where, where is this going to the all gifted that's somebody giving oneself that's somebody giving something to somebody else your person can also be an aquarius too or have a mercury in aquarius uh they can be you know sometimes like super crazy unpredictable you know they have that different aspect about them and there's something that's changing within you and them and i feel like there's something here especially with that all gifted can you give me one card about gemini's person of interest you know, Gemini, I feel like when you really, and my crown chakra is going off as I'm telling you this, when we really commit to something, like when we really make a decision, I feel like that's it, right? Like up until that point, up until we finally know with what we want, we're like, fuck that, I'm talking to everybody. Oh, hell no. Like, you know what I mean? But then like when we finally like set our mind to something and we really give somebody our all, like that's it. Like that's our person. Even though no one thinks Gemini is like that, like we are legit like that, like too legit to quit. Like this is our person, right? One more card, please, about uh, Gemini's person of interest. King of Pentacles, you know, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or it also can be Leo. You know, um, I feel like there was a level of distance between you and this person. And I feel like the longer that you and them didn't talk for whatever reason, scared them into wanting to come forward with something of substance right this person is like very persistent about you gemini um also this person is somebody that has it is very well off financially there's no money issues here um they have a lot to offer uh also too with this person that can be a boss it can be a ceo this can be somebody who has multiple investments. This is somebody who, um, it's funny because it may be somebody from your past and now they're coming forward like, hey, okay, I'm ready to do the work because you have the three of pentacles here. 
that's Mars in Capricorn, it's like now they're re really ready to provide you that level of security because the Ten of Pentacles are right with it. That's also Virgo energy. They want to make things work. They want to build a family with you. They want to, you know, really solidify you and them in making something, you know, your own. I also feel like, too, uh, that there is some type of cycle that you and this person go through. And with, you know, there is a conclusion and I think a level of transformation for whatever the hell is going on here. How you feel about them as the Eight of Wands? Why? With the Queen of Pentacles. Ew. Holy shit, Gemini. Do we feel secure? Are we like, yeah, this is it? Um, the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, that's definitely Capricorn energy, or it can be Libra energy. I'm not, I'm sorry, not Libra, Capricorn or Cancer. Maybe you have a Cancer Moon, Cancer Venus, Cancer Rising, or, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, or uh, Virgo. But like, let's fuck, fuck the signs right now. Let, let's just keep it 100. This person is providing us a level of stability, a level of security that is needed financially as well as everything else. And I think that we feel like we can really settle in with this person and we can offer this person a lot. Ooh, look, Ten of Cups. Yo, Gemini, this person makes you happy. Very happy. Like there is an illusion or there is some type of energy around it where it's like, yo, I, I can this really be? Can we really do this? Like, is this something that, you know, I have to continue to fight for? Or maybe this is something that you fought for for a while, right? The idea of it. However, I feel like there is something very uplifting and positive, And you have a very positive aspect of where you and this person can go. Because I feel like you guys have already done this. I don't know, past life maybe? Because of the tens? Conclusions? Transformations? The Virgo have really good energy too. The Emperor. Oh, shit. Hello, Aries. Um, you like the fact that this person is following through. Anytime I think of Aries, I think, like, those motherfuckers, like, first of all, they're hella sexy. Because I like that aggressive shit. Maybe you guys know where they're like, oh, hell no, we're doing this, right? Like, I think that's hot. Like, this person can take charge. This person doesn't just say something. They physically do it. Um, and I think that that's what you find very attractive about them. Highly, highly attractive. What else does Gemini like about their person of interest? Oh, the lovers. God damn, Gemini, here we go. Here the fuck we go. Um, you know, I think you're genuinely in love with this person. And I think you know this person's in love with you. Let's, let's keep it 100. Yeah. Three of Cups. There's a level of success here. There's there's definitely a lot of passion with you and this person. A lot. They make you feel really good. What does Gemini not like? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe there's something that you're waiting for. Like you're tired of waiting. What's Gemini tired of waiting for? The Hierophant. You're like, motherfucker, are we getting married? Yes or no? I'm tired of waiting. I've been waiting this whole lifetime. I need to know, are we getting married? You need to clarify where the hell is this going, right? Like you may be tired of waiting for this person to pull the trigger. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Gemini. Why do we do this to ourselves? You also may not like the fact that this person, honestly, I think it's, I was gonna say this person is too, you know, has a certain way of doing it. Maybe they don't move as fast as we like, but then again, the Nine of Wands just popped out. Yeah, I feel like you're tired of waiting. You're like, listen, we've done this over and over and over again. Where is this going? I need to know. Because for you, it's like, are we gonna be stuck in this forever? Or is there gonna be something that's changing? Something that is, you know, Ten of Cups, hello? You know, like, what are we doing? Like, make me happy fulfill my fantasy right like i always think of like this is pisces right i always pisces mars how you know fulfilling a fantasy pisces is very much in their head very you know has all these fantasies and these things that have the possibility of happening right like they're big dreamers 
And I think for you, Gemini, it's like, are you going to fulfill my fantasy? Yes or no? I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, that's what I get. You guys are like, shut the hell up and go to the next card. All right. Sorry. I apologize. Uh, all right. So now we have the three of cups for the situation. Why? What's causing the three of cups? The ace of swords. Okay. Some type of communication on where this is going, right? And it's funny because uh, three of cups is mercury and cancer. This person can have a mercury and cancer or you have a mercury and cancer. It's all about talking about a level of stability here. It's all about talking about, you know, where this goes, where does this progress? We're the two of cups, now we're the three of cups, right? Tower, are we moving? Oh shit, I don't, you know, one of the comments the other day was like, yeah, you were so, you were like, don't worry, the tower's here. Yeah, that's, you know, usually pretty fucked up, but has the potential of being good. Now I'm over here and I'm just like, damn, I'm all nervous. I'm like, oh shit, what the hell's coming with this? Okay, what's the energy of the tower? The eight of pentacles. Okay, I feel like this is honestly having a conversation about where this goes, working together, building with one another, learning, right? There's something here that needs to be you know, felt or something that needs to be taught. This is very much a Virgo, but it has to be something. Uh, <clears throat> it has to be, it's like, okay, you know, you're moving out of that seven of pentacles. Now you're coming into the eight. How do you fix it? Like, what do you fix? How do you make something your own? This can literally be the fact that you guys are fixing up your house, right? Like that could be a possibility. Um, this can be physically moving. This can be mapping out how exactly, you know, you're planning on moving forward. As I said, that ace of swords, it's having a, a conversation or a level of clarity about, you know, you and this person working together. How does Gemini feel about the situation or issue? The magician, you feel like you're the one that's in control, right? That's Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. You feel like you're the one, you have all the tools. It's just really about putting the work in and physically making that determination and doing it. How does, okay, the Ace of Pentacles. This is how your person of interest feels about it. They like the idea, right? Those are Aces. It's very much about, you know, a level of, you know, taking that initial step, a beginning, it's a level of unity between you and them. It's also about a level of raw emotion. I don't know why, but I feel like some of the people are like, mm -hmm, see how she's not talking about that second situation over here. And the reason I'm not, I just want to say this, is because I feel like, Gemini, you've already made up your decision for this week, okay, about this other situation. And you're moving forward with somebody that's very solid. And somebody that makes you very happy, possibly a Leo, okay, because the sun is here. Um, or it can be any of the fixed signs, so Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus, and possibly a Capricorn. There's something that's coming to conclusion this week. And it has to do with love. It has to do with the level of involvement here. Beautiful. Yes, I'm here for this. Two of Cups, that's uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini. That's also um, Cancer, Venus. So that's a very loving, caring, and nurturing energy. Now, something's obviously ending as the block or external influence. What's ending? The Five of Cups. Okay, somebody is no longer feeling guilty. Somebody is no longer begging. Somebody is no longer you know, being upset with whatever has happened. Um, they're also no longer, you know, avoiding something that's going in, and they're providing a level of reassurance here. That's Mars and Scorpio. That's taking action in a way that is somewhat emotional, right? But it's also taking kind of like a calculated risk. Okay, temperance is here. 
it's 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 also about a level of transformation because remember we have death we have you know sag is here as an external influence so this can also be the fact that you know you and this person you know okay so let me go back and some of you may like this some of you may not but in this deck right and this is a tarot of apocalypse it said that when the emperor and the empress when they get together right they're two separate two separate you know like oil and water so when it comes to temperance what happens is they take the two and they uh strip everybody clean of whatever their impurities are right and then they bring them together and they polish it as one and then once this is done the alchemy is done with that transformation they're now one solid partnership you know one solid entity versus two separate ones but whatever was going on internally that wasn't positive with the two people because they're merging that's being stripped and i feel like <clears throat> that's what's happening with transformation it, and it's something that you may not see but you and this person are going through something very very like crazy right now like there's something very important and very healing about whatever type of spiritual journey you're going on it's beautiful um the fool i said how would gemini feel about it the fool it's a new journey you don't know where the fuck it's going right it's like it's cool like i'm the modern day like nomad i'm just gonna follow along i feel like you know you guys are really trusting your intuition here chariot queen of cups it's like there's cancer it's like you're going forward and you're proceeding in a manner that is very much a confident like you're winning either way gemini you're winning right now queen of cups you feel good cancer libra you feel like you're very well balanced and you also feel like you're going from something that maybe you didn't know where it was going the fool and now it's transforming into a solid connection it's transforming into something very nurturing and a level of security like let's ask what's transforming here for gemini why is temperance here Woo! what's transforming is the ten of swords that's beautiful you're coming out of the ten of swords that's ending what comes after this right a conclusion an ace of swords it's turning that pain into power it's turning that pain into what into the four of wands whatever you didn't have prior gemini it's all coming full circle here you're now being given whatever you want because of this level of transformation that's going through look three of pentacles working together that's uh mars and capricorn that's having a level of structure and a level of solid foundation with the empress libra taurus cancer this is about feeling like you have it all, feeling very sexy, feeling like you control what's going on around you without having to say it. This person understands. For me, the Empress doesn't do shit. She just sits there and she gives somebody a look like, hey, I'm not about to say that twice. They give that, you know, that side eye look like, don't try me, right? And that person automatically knows like, oh shit, okay. Right. And there's a lot of respect for her because of how abundant she is. Like, I feel like Gemini right now, there's a lot of abundance coming around you because you've done the hard work and you've been through a lot. So with that rant over, the outcome here is the six of pentacles, which is beautiful. So, you know, obviously something's being given here. And I do want to show you guys this top of the deck is a king of pentacles. Bottom of the deck is a lover's. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody gifts you with something. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody asks you to marry them this week to keep it 100. Like there's something going on here that is making you feel very, very good. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace.